Hey YouTube, it's me and Craig, both kept sudden. Craig's on the play. Yep, let's shock into Temple Garden. Ooh. Tap that for a hopeful initiate. Nice. Go ahead. We will play Forest. Tap it for a dork. Yep. Last turn. Territory. Pack leader. Yeah. Swing for one. I take one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Draw. Play land for turn. And then uh, we'll see how much my feelings end up getting hurt. Play the card I really want to play. <laughs> yeah. Lost Port Hydra. Yeah, Enters with one, one, one counter on it. Whenever I play a land, so or landfall, <laughs> double the number so one counters on it. Okay. <laughs> Pass turn. Fred Durst. <laughs> Courtyard. I'm a human. Mm -hmm. Copper Cove Vanguard. It's not the, it's not the uh, Reflector Mage. <laughs> Go to combat. Yep. Swing for four, five, six. Yeah. Trigger draw a card. Oh, yeah. seven because it triggers training. Okay. Wait, so. So when he attacks oh, with a creature, I, that, that's why I was forgetting the the, the math. I was forgetting the copper coat. Uh, so seven, I go down to twelve. Actually, I don't follow the rules on camera. Go ahead. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the card in my hand that lets this really do fun things, and that's not the card either. Um, it's two, it's four. So. I think we just go blockers. So we tap three, play a scoop. Yeah, play a land. Nikos, double the counters, maybe one one insects. And then pass the turn. So whenever you play a land. I need six or more to make him make scoops. And then he just gets bigger every land that ETVs on my side. He just gets another counter. Yeah. Okay. No, no, not another, double. Doubled. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, so it gets scary when I can start getting if I can get multiple lands in turn uh, in the play on turn. Last round, red versus Tim. I'm in the battle. turn. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Little Cathar. Get rid of that dude. Rude. I'm like, yeah, I can't let him double again. So uh, let's go to combat. Yep. Trigger training. And because he's a he's, four, he's, uh, I should yeah. make sure he's yeah, he's still human. Okay, uh, so four, four, two. We'll block one of the fours with a scoop mm -hmm. uh, with the insect. Sorry, uh, and I'll take six. six. I'll go to six. Go ahead. On top. Draw. I mean, so I don't know if that would be enough. Play Put the trigger on stack. Responded. I don't do anything. Not enough bodies. I don't. I think I end up being just a little too slow. Which is, uh, this is definitely the kind of problem in our matchup is the play has very strong hand. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, scoop. Mm -hmm. Land. Two incidents. Uh, let's do this for And. I promise you I wouldn't have brought him. I built the deck this way. It didn't work. Because, go ahead. He was after. Yeah, because I could. I'm, I'm one man shy of being able to actually do anything other any other way. Um, I pass the turn, and we'll see how it goes. A three, collector mage, bounce one of your scoops. Yeah. A two, five is the ten. Yes. So, counter, counter. You revealed it. Go to combat. Mm -hmm. Swing with all these dudes. So it's gonna be five. Uh, what is him? Oh, Thalia's a 10. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, 5, 10, Probably not. 13, 17? So I think 
what I try is just this. So Scoot will block. I think these two are effective, but no, this guy's bigger. So yes. we'll take the Vanguard, one, one, and one. So all the my insects and bugs will die. Yep, and you'll take uh, I'll three. take three, go to three. Go ahead. And then I will proceed to have nothing. I mean, I can play a Sager. And I can at least do something that does nothing. I can at least play a Cocaine Bear. Sweet. Mill four. Because, you know, the goal was to do this with two scoops on the field yep. and then get three scoop triggers. <laughs> you got it. Right we'll go to game two. Yeah. So yeah, can you give me back my guy who, like, has yet, has I have, yet to get I bigger have, than a 2 2? No. I have yet to untap with him. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have made him as big as an 8 8 and passed the turn on the turn he entered. Oh, oh nice. Um, I have played him, played land for turn, played Awaken. Uh, and like twice now, I've seen basically like turn roughly four. So like if I actually, if I don't play him turn two, if I actually play him turn three mm -hmm. with still the ramped mana, and then awaken a turn for one more on four, mm -hmm. he is definitely lethal. Yeah, because I end up putting four lands in, and at that point he should have. Because if we one play him, he's at one. Play another land, doubles him. To next turn, tells him to four, then add four, so it goes eight, 16, 32, yeah, because it's basically 32. Yeah. And he has trample, right? Yeah. yeah. That's why he, that's why he was. Uh, so, Tireless Tracker is who got pushed out. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Tireless Tracker's sideboard, yep. because at the same time, um, while I, I'm too attached to pulling out right now, I need to play around with pulling out any, switching around any of those three drop landfall creatures the Scoot, the Tireless Tracker, and the Hydra. Gotcha. And I feel like depending on the matchup, it's like, all right, am I playing a control matchup? Okay, maybe drop the scoots and go with the Tyler's Tracker so I don't just get hosed by board wipes as often. Yeah. If I'm playing against, you know, black mo uh, target removal, put the scoots in to go wide. And then still cry to the uh, I can keep. I'll keep. Okay. Uh, we will land into a Mystic and go. Oh. Or the five, five. Good. Sloth pathway. Journey on. That's not an evolving one. Make a map. Go ahead. That's not the turn one play I'm used to from you. Are you on green? No, it is not. Um, we will play a forest for turn. We'll tap three and do a stopper. Yeah. Get a forest. Pass the turn. Cavern of Souls, name human. Pay two. Are you sure you're not werewolves? Uh, cast the Kellen. Yeah. And go ahead. You're good. On top. Four man. I guess I could have done something in this case. But it is fine. That's right. Yeah, like going high grade. Yeah. Unclaimed territory. Three. He needs six lands? Seven. Seven. Okay. Yep, yep. So we got a minute. Yep. Uh, play Reckless Storm Seeker. Yeah. Go to combat. Mm -hmm. Give it to himself. Swing for five. Go to fifteen. Uh, trigger Kellen. Reveal the top. I will leave it on top. Are you sure? It's a Coco. It's not a. It's not a human. It's not. But I'm gonna leave it. Okay. I mean, you only have three lands. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. But I do want that. Okay. Comment. My turn. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Open it is daytime. Well, I know you're talking uh, about Coco, and uh, so you're gonna Coco. I don't actually Coco in this deck, but something in my deck kind of like rhymes with Coco, and it is Cocaine Bear. Ah. ah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so tap six the to play Bear. Bear. Yep. Yeah. He is a five-five at the moment. Okay. Uh, I will mill four. Yeah, Pick your poison. Scoot. <laughs> land and a land. I will get two lands. ETB tapped. He will be a seven-seven. Nice. Vigilance Reach. Yep. Really cool. No trample. 
a little disappointing. Yeah. And now you have seven lands. I do, actually. I did think about that first. Yes, I do. I'll go to combat. I'll swing a 4-4 four, four stomps at you. Yep. Yeah. I'll take it for the 16. Yeah, it's the Pass the turn. Yeah. I didn't think that's my favorite. I think this would be song. Yeah. And then the quarter. So I'm going to claim territory. Inhuman. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's going to get us there, so I think we have to do that. Yeah. And part of me for a moment was like, no, really, people still just wait and do it. And then I remember you do have a guy who gets haste in the field. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take another one of those mm -hmm. and a pack leader. No brew calf fire. No reflector mage. Not today. I will pass. Okay. Draw. I will play a forest as land creature. Seven. She's eight. Nissa. Yep. She'll ETB with seven. It's three, six, seven forests. Will alter. They'll okay. all my creatures will get plus seven, okay. plus seven, trample to on a turn. So it'll be an 11 11 trample, a 8 8 trample, and a 15 15 trample. Game three. Yeah. Cocaine Bear does really good work when he's got trample. He does, he does. To be fair, that's all Nissa, anyways. I could have any creature there, but. Um, the ramp was actually just really good. Yeah, I, that's why I've undervalued from him. Like, I thought I wouldn't like the. <coughs> because I don't have any real grave recursion in the deck. Yeah. I think I thought I wouldn't like the. Like, oh no, there go my Nissas, or whatever. But. <laughs> big Vigilance Reach is still just really good. Uh, yeah, it's uh, very good against yeah, that makes sense. That You could probably do without the reach. Yeah. Oh, against you, yes. But people playing like Valgaboth and things like that. Um, all the, the flying frickin' bats. But the, the bigger thing about that is just that there is no other reach or way to deal with flying in my deck other than pick your poison. Oh, okay. So, like, currently the Loomer's a two of. I'm legitimately thinking about going to a three of, which I've started doing, like, being very hesitant with, with legendaries in 60 card decks. Yeah. I, I, I find myself very much so not wanting to go above two, unless it's something like the Nissa where, like, where you I'm, don't I'm, mind seeing it, It's ETB is what I want. Yep. You know what I mean, more or less. Where that's not technically how Nissa works, but for the most part, I'm trying to get to seven mana. Player mm -hmm. for seven. Just immediately alter and run somebody over. I think that's valid. I I do uh, also like the two I, love for anything legendary. Yeah, I also don't think that they should make a Planeswalker quite like Nissa again, where you can, like, the, that whole series where you can just alt them the moment you play them. I yeah. don't think it's necessarily great. Get great play pattern, but you have one, two, I'll be on the play. Four, five, six, seven. All right. Uh, I can't keep that. We didn't quite make the, the, the seven minute time. No, we did not. Yeah, that was a little question. That's okay, though. <laughs> yeah. We'll probably still be the first one done. This is probably stupid, but I'm going to keep it. We are going to six. You need help it. Not enough lands or too many lands? Uh, no lands. Yeah. That is a problem. All right. That's better. Bottom. Bottom that. I think that's good. Ah, it okay, uh, let's go Cavern of Souls, name human. Yeah. Pass. Ooh, no one drop. No one drop. Uh, we will start with a forest and play a mystic. Mm -hmm. Pass three. Branch Loft Pathway. Copper Coat Vanguard. Yep. Go ahead. I am going to play a card on turn three that I actually haven't played yet on turn three in this deck before. We're going to tap three, Nicholas will go ahead and, and mm -hmm. impend a Overlord of the Hogwarts. Right on. 
He comes in with four impending counters. He makes me a tapped every. Uh, nope, that's not everywhere. Right? Uh, where'd you go? And so she was. We were not the first ones done. Oh, really? Wow. Um, and I will end turn and make this go down one. Here we go. I said, I guess I just turn two point, not turn three. Name human? Yeah. Reckless Stormseeker? Yeah. Give it to himself. Six? Five. This oh, six. Yeah, because he gets plus yep. one. I was like, it's five last game. This guy is one bigger now, so I go to 14. Go ahead. You know what the scary thing is? I legitimately am actually not sure if my already quick play with this incredibly greedy hand is actually going to pan out with you hitting that again on turn three. Um, let's see. So... Do that. Actually, I think the better thing is to do this to tap for three green for devotion. Mm -hmm. And then we will play a tribute to the world tree. Oh, yep. And we'll tap a green and play it and get two counters. <laughs> So. And then uh, I will end turn, and this will lose another counter. Yep. Yeah, I think. No, I think retail now is six bucks. I tried. Makes a lot. Makes a lot. Shocking attempt. Yeah. Go to eighteen. Well, yeah, they took away. Coco. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Find anybody wants to burn the trash can. <laughs> James. We got our reader. Pack leader. Mm -hmm. Top coat. Yeah. Night, everyone. See you. Yeah, yeah. Have a good one. Yeah. Yep. Go to combat. Mm -hmm. We'll give it to the pack leader. Yep. And swing like that. So that'll be two. Mm -hmm. uh, three. Three. Oh, three. Three. Yep. Plus four is seven. Plus. Six is a, is thirteen. Okay. So this is four and this is nine together. Mm -hmm. No, because this is six on its own. So it's ten together. Okay. Yeah. None of the fun any trample? No. And none of these are plus one plus one. So they're all plus one plus O's. Correct. So um, he is currently a 6 3. You have a trigger. Oh, yes, draw. Thank you. <laughs> like, so, so, uh, four, so he is a 4 3, and he is a 6 3. Yeah, yeah. What I want to do to make your thing smaller is to be able to like, block the copper coat and keep my creature or the trade, but like you lose the one power overall. But me taking 10 still is too much. So we're going to trade the, the dork for the 3 3 dork for the 6 3. Yeah, so okay. Yeah, and then I'll take the four seven, seven yep. from there and go to seven. Go ahead. All right, on tap. Draw. Play a forest as land for turn. Okay. I just need bodies. I'm afraid of the deep. Um, so I'm not afraid of any other. So to make bodies. We tap Nykthos for six. Mm -hmm. And then we add two. Mm -hmm. And we awaken for next of six. Ooh, gross. Yes. Now, the good news for you is I have no landfall benefits on the battlefield. Yes. The bad news is I do make six three threes, which are conveniently solid blockers against your board at the moment. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Right, 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 right. I will go to end step and remove a counter. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Okay. Play Mute of All. Yeah, my land for turn. Pay three. Mm -hmm. Reflector Mage. Bounce one of your dudes. Yep. Town five. Creature game. I always want to double check to make sure it's creature, not like non land permanent. Yeah. Because that, that always catches people with them, so. Pay two. Values. Yeah. That is a well timed lieutenant, considering it uh, at least makes sure the. Stormseeker can't actually die on with a one to one. And the Reflector Mage. Just need to 
sure you're bored right now. Um, let's go to combat. Mm -hmm. Give this to the Reflector Mage. Mm -hmm. And swing with all four. Yep. Yeah, see, I wish I could keep my tokens, but I can't because it's a lot of damage. So we will do grab some tokens just to split them up here. Um, doesn't matter which token we actually use. We'll put one, one, so that they can trade. And then he's going to be a bigger long-term nuisance, and then him. So we'll do this, putting all of the three threes out to block. <laughs> these ones will, on my side, will, well, these two, these ones will trade, this one dies, and then you can, you pick one of these two, unless there's another pump, I believe. Wait, wait. Two, no, three, four, five. five. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one shot. Okay, so one of those will live. Yeah, these trade that. Dies. Basically, I have one dryad left in the end of this, mm -hmm. and then all of these trade, more or less. Well, you yeah, get to keep yeah, one. Of, yeah, one of them because they won't. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I keep one. And surprisingly, I think we both feel more comfortable after that. <laughs> a little yeah, bit. That's a stupid amount of things on the board. Yeah. And I'm supposed to be the one that has a stupid I, amount of things. Honestly, I was like, you're going to go off and I'm not going to be able to catch you. And then I drew the awakening. So I'm like, it's it's the, it's the effectively a board wipe. It makes us clash against each other. <laughs> Draw for turn. Uh, forest as land for turn. Because I still have no landfall trigger. Well, I guess I probably should have done that a different way. Well, how do we want to do this? We'll have him after this turn. That won't leave me with enough to do that, so I do have to do this. So we'll do, because it's free, I'll wish Mystic. Mm -hmm. It's two on counters. Then I'll tap Nykthos for one, two, uh, five, seven. Mm -hmm. And, well, I guess I should actually just, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you're a lot of Overlord. Oh, yep. Uh, I will make a everywhere. I would count the actually how much that would have been. I would have two floating left. That's five. I'm at seven, and that honestly is still too precarious. Oh, a creature I draw from uh, Tribune. I forget that one so much. Uh, then I will go to end step and remove the last counter. Yep. Now this is a creature, and then I will pass her. Play a tab breeding pool. Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah, the awaken I think was kind you of thing to, to make it disgusting. So it's three, five, seven, eight, nine, uh, seven of it for Nissa. Yep. Alter, so they will we'll count in a moment, but then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Nissa. <laughs> Alter again and just double it up. <laughs> Good games, man. Good games. That, it, it, I, I legitimately was like, oh, I'm going to do really well this game. Even like, It was a, a two lander start. It, I had. I was completely out of gas. I had. Uh, the I had both overlords yeah. in the starting hand, and I had uh, land, dork, and nykthos, four dork, nykthos. So I'm like, if I was against any deck other than humans, where I know you're probably not gonna be able to turn one kill my creature, yeah, I'd probably mull this just out of the safety of needing to get the three lands. <laughs> but here, I can gar almost guarantee I could get get the uh, overlord down, and my plan was actually overlord, overlord into awaken and anissa. That, that, 